My name is Griff, Griff Reese jones and um, I'm a writer and broadcaster, and I'm also an ambassador for the Princess Regeneration Trust. It's the character of an entire area that often fascinates me. I'm really fascinated by urban environments, and the idea of, of, of different generations making a contribution to them is very important, but also the sense that some places have the character of the period that they were built. And for me, London, uh, as I walk through it, it's not a question of going, wow, Westminster Abbey, wow, look at the British Museum, wow, uh, uh, look, look, look at those buildings over there. It's a question of saying, look at this, this totality. And, and that, that's what really interests me. I was also involved in a, a long-running campaign to save the Hackney Empire. And there's a building which is an interesting problem, if you like, for all of us, because it, inside, uh, it's only 100 years old, but inside it has the qualities of a cathedral, and a cathedral made for a certain purpose. But it's also true to say that uh, it's a place of public assembly, and we, as a community, don't assemble in public altogether very much or nearly as much as we used to. And so many of these buildings, from pubs to cinemas to churches to theatres, are, are, the theater, are, the, are the very buildings that come under threat. But um, uh, we worked very hard to save it, mainly because it had um, a company already using it and it was being used as the great community. And for that reason, um, it was it was a it was a no-brainer in terms of needing to help it. Here was a building which had a future use, had a, a, a requ there was a requirement in the in the society around it to use it and to recycle it and save it as an example of a particular sort of movement in in our mutual histories. It was a really important task. Our past is something that we actually uh, we actually inhabit. Now, I don't think it's, it's important to me because in some way we were better in the past or, or, uh, or, or, or created somehow more worthwhile things in the past and we can't do that today. That's not the point. I think that if I set out from this house and I walk down Tottenham Road or into Fitzroy here, I think I'm in, in touch with the continuity of London. I'm in touch with the idea that this is a place all around me where other human beings have inhabited for, um, well, going on for um, two and a half thousand years. And as a result, they've created things all around me, left their mark. And it's really important that I realise that I'm going to leave my mark. We, as a society, are going to leave our mark. Let's hope that it represents something which is a contribution to the imaginative landscape. And for, and for that reason, its heritage as an idea is something which seems to me that's something we all live with and we all ought to be aware of. And it's much more than just something which is um, cosy or convenient or elitist. It's something that's actually part of the fabric of the very, the very nature of, of how we interact with other people. Many of these buildings have a new life and to use them and to recycle is as important as recycling those plastic bottles we put in a particular bag. <laughs>